Oh my God, that's so good. One of my favorite dishes from Poland. This is a 10 out of 10 dish. Mm, I like that. Mm. That is so good. Oh my God. This is my very first time ever visiting Poland and Phil's first time visiting these cities. I am so excited about the food, culture, and language in this country. We are making a multi-video series visiting several different cities in Poland, and of course, trying the famous classic Polish dishes, as well as some traditional regional Polish dishes along the way. We made it to Poland! And our very first city on this Poland tour is Katowice. To start off the day, we are making our way to a very quaint cafe a few blocks south of the central train station. Good morning, or we are getting breakfast today and I'm so excited. This is our first day in Poland. We arrived last night, very tired, passed out. Now I'm ready for some good hearty breakfast. We came to this place called Coffee Yeah. I'm having so much trouble with all of the pronunciation, but we wanted to start off with something. I saw on the menu, it's very familiar to me, and I saw that they had it here, pancakes. Polish style Polish pancakes. Polish style pancakes. Lots of fresh fruit in here. So I think apple is very common, but I see some figs here, strawberry peaches, which I love berries. Oh, it all looks so good. This is a masterpiece. So I'm just gonna cut into one. Of course, the American has to go for the pancake breakfast. Yes. But apparently, pretty common here as well. Yeah. It's almost like a silver dollar pancake. They're a little smaller than I'm used to with the big pancakes, but mm, let's get into it. That's a cake. Oh my God, that's so good. This, these apples right here with the almonds are just melty, melting away in my mouth. I think this one's a plum. This is an apple, but this plum right here is just melting away. It looks so glazed and with the powdered sugar, it looks very nice. I noticed that there wasn't any syrup, but I feel like I don't need it because this fruit is just moisturizing the whole cake. Mm, that's so good. I'm loving this breakfast. This is like a 10 out of 10 breakfast for me. So I'm gonna go with a little bit more of a brunch dish. And this one here is a little pan of chaksuka or saksuka. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. This apparently is a dish that is not native of Poland, but more from North Africa. It comes in this little pan here and it looks a little bit on first glance like a chili. I think it's tomato based. There's a lot of tomato chunks in there. There's kidney beans, onions, I think parsley on top. There's also an egg cooked in there, which looks awesome. And it comes with two bread slices on the side, some hardier rye bread. We just wanted to try this, so I'm just gonna get a big fork full. Ooh, look at that. Beans, egg, yolk, everything in there. There's also sweet corn, I think. So here we go, saksuka, I think. Dude, that's my taste. It's never too early for warm food, even though this is kind of our breakfast and our first stop. Look at this part, there's a whole egg in there. Wow, I think there's multiple eggs. Very strongly flavored, not spicy though, but tomato based. And then with the beans, it kind of actually reminds me a little bit of a mild chili, I guess without the carne, but with egg. Break in some bread. Break the bread as Ooh, you're it's toasted. supposed to. Yeah, it's toasted. Loaded on, that looks with so good. some egg. Mm. I just love these flavors, kidney beans in a tomato based thing. That is so good. So both of these dishes, that was 29 zloty, and this was also 29 zloty, which is under seven euros, so six something. And I think that's a pretty good value for me coming here. Traditional Polish breakfast is very similar to a traditional German one, which is basically often just bread slices and then you put cheese on top, a little bit of cucumber or tomato, but that's fairly common. So we wanted to try a little bit of a variety. But one thing I think that's a little underrated is just the good old butter bread, the butterbrot. If you just put real butter on a good piece of bread, you don't basically need anything else. As Phil enjoys that butterbrot, we finish up these delicious dishes and head off to see more of Katowice. We like walking around to get a feel of different areas of a city, but we didn't make it very far. I was just so excited to try some Polish food. We came across a recommended restaurant for a delicious Polish classic. We quickly realized that it was way too quiet and intimate to film in there, so we order a meal to go to enjoy at one of the many parks. And this next dish is probably the most famous Polish dish, at least for me, growing up in the USA. And it's something that I've been looking forward to. I love dumplings. I love all types of dumplings. I like shalong bao, baozes. I love uh, gnocchi. I love every dumpling. Dough with spilled is the best thing to me. So of course we have pierogi here. 
pierogi. And I think this is one of the most famous Polish dishes. We have three different types in this. We got a little 12 pack. This was 40 zloty, which is under nine euros, eight something, which I think is not too bad of a deal, but let me know if you're Polish, is this a good price or not? We went to this place called Chata z Zalipia. I hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> and it looked very quaint inside, very intimate, but we decided to get this to go and eat it out here. Let me open one up. I believe this is the Ruski pierogi. Russian which, style. Which is the Russian style. It's pretty much filled with cream cheese and potato and some herbs. First time having pierogi in Poland. Probably not the last time, but let's go. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. I don't care if you say that this is unhealthy. This shit is so good. So good. I would eat buckets of this and then lie down. Well, we have a pretty big bucket, so <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I will then. eat all of this. Phil doesn't get any. You want to get the other half? Mm -hmm. Initial reaction. So good, right? It's a glue. Yes, I but love it. Yummy glue. Still flavorful. It kind of looks bland, right? It's all this like tan color, but it tastes so good. And I don't even need sauce. I looked at this initially and I was like, should I put some sauce on it? But I think it tastes so good without it. That's really nice, man. Creamy, cheesy, yummy. This next one we have here is cabbage and pork. And I believe this is pierogi zu kapuska. Kapuska. This kind of reminds me a little bit of like Chinese dumplings with the cabbage filled with meat inside. We'll give it a try. Mmm, very different flavor palette though. Kind of a, a little lighter but soury flavor. Sauerkrauty with yeah. this cabbage in it. Mmm, not bad, very good. Let me try. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Mm. It's very sauerkraut with... Wow, I like it a lot. And you don't like sauerkraut, being a German. I, I don't really like sauerkraut. He doesn't really love sauerkraut. It tastes way better. Well, it's the mix with the dough, man. Yeah, and I think these little bacon bits here belong on the this other one. And this next one is pierogi zmiesem. I think that's what it, it's pork and beef filled, and it's more of a meaty one. You can see yeah. it's nice minced meat and ground up in there. Give it a try. Hmm. Whoa, really? that is very soft meat. Yeah, that is the softest meat. <laughs> Thank God. It doesn't look the best to me. Yeah. It looks the worst, but let's see. It tastes better than it looks. Right? Dude. I don't know. I love all torrents of dumplings and this is so good. I think my favorite might be the Ruski one. It's very potato cheesy, but I like this combination of all of them because you go back and forth between the flavors. Yeah, man, it's nice to have a variety. And I had pierogi just a couple weeks ago. I went on a short trip with a friend to Rokla and that was basically my late Polish experience. I've been once before to Poland in the, with an exchange trip, but I don't remember much. Every uh, time, every time. Yeah. He doesn't remember anything from his youth. Weirdly, my favorite might even be the cabbage one, the sauerkraut no one. Way. Really? Yeah. Oh, this Dude. is so good. I can't decide. I really love these. I'm already so full, but I want to just keep eating that. Yeah, these are my first, but they absolutely will not be my last pierogies in Poland. Yeah. Mm. So Diana just keeps mm. munching away. I just want to mention they're very soft. Like the outer shell of the dumpling is very soft and all the fillings are very soft too. So you bite into it and it becomes one. The consistency is not really different between the dough and the filling. I like it. It's very mushy experience. Super nice, super yummy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Is wife happy? Yes. Happy wife, I'm happy, so happy life. Zero leftover. So good. <laughs> After those very satisfying pierogi, we move our booties around different areas of the city, walking through Mariatska Street, passing old churches, fancy bank buildings, and multiple convenience stores. So this intersection seems to be one of the main parts of Katowice. And there's this like massive looking modern mall. And this is kind of where the the modern like meets the old town and uh, I think the train station or the bus station at least is right there, train station two. We're gonna check them all out. And I will just say we definitely hit our daily step goal. We walked through this very modern and clean mall and if you know me you know it's hard for me to just walk by a cute plushie. We came to the store and I want him. <laughs> We're getting He's perfect. Juice. Look at they also have the part. Cute. <laughs> Got him. What's his name? I don't know, Jenkuya, Jenkuya. Thank you. Maybe you can help us name him if you need a, if you know a good name for Polish goose. Let us know in the comments. I love him. With our new goose baby, we make our way to the next local restaurant on this food tour. 
This restaurant specializes in regional Salation cuisine, and we order this next dish as takeout so as to not bother the locals inside of the restaurant. Oh, it smells so good right now. We stopped for a quick afternoon snack at this little park here, which is very quaint. There's a little bit of water going. Since Katowice is on the very eastern end of the Silesian area, Silesia, Schlesien, this is a Silesian dish we wanted to throw in. These are called Kulebe, and uh, the whole dish I think is called Kulebe z Kompotem, but it's three Silesian dumplings that look like, a little bit like the potato dumplings from Germany, but they're filled with something, and we have two different different types of cabbage on the side, which I really like. And these are in a gravy and I'm just gonna start and cut one of them open to show you what's on the inside. Oh, they're soft, very, very Ooh. soft. Let's see if I can get through all the way. They're filled with pulled beef, pickles and onions. Here we go. Yeah. Dude. Ooh, that is so good. I'm not kidding. This is better than I expected. Oh, it tastes like a roulade, you know, like a beef roulade, because that also has onions and pickles in there. And it's basically a dumpling, a potato dumpling filled with a beef roulade. No oh, ho ho! Wow, that is so good. I can't believe it. Quick try of the coleslaw. This one is not coleslaw, but cabbage on the side. It has bacon chunks in there. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, very nice too. And then for the red cabbage, which does not have bacon chunks in there, but as we all know, go well with potatoes or potato dumplings. No way. Dude, one of my favorite dishes from Poland. I don't know if the Silesian area is uh, especially known for food. I know they have a smaller version of the dumplings that remind me of bigger gnocchi. First I thought, this looks like a dish that's missing a main. But dude, the main is in the dumpling. This is like the perfect hearty fall or winter meal or meal for every day. I'm curious what you're gonna say about that, if you agree or not, but better. All right, so you finished one ball, I get two balls. Give me the balls. <laughs> I love stuffed anything. It's potato based. I don't know, this is pretty big. Do it, you can do it. Do it. Oh yeah. Oh my god. What do you think? That's so good. Right? It has this, I don't know how to explain it, glibberiness to it. Yes. That around these outside, like it's it's potatoey, but it's also very jelly yes. with the pulled beef in there. It's so good. This is a 10 out of 10 dish. This so far is the biggest surprise. And I really think it's similar to the German potato dumpling, which often comes with the beef roulade. And this is the dish combined, basically. It's in a different form. Yeah, I freaking love this. Maybe it would have been a little easier to eat this in a restaurant at a table so you're not spilling sauce, but it's very intimate in some of these Polish restaurants, especially these small local ones. So we're just uh, eating it in nature. Yeah, man, so far off to a very, very good start here in Poland. Dude. I hope I can find one of my favorites next for dinner. We'll just see. This is amazing. We battle off camera for the last two balls and walk it off making room in our bellies for dinner. All right, so your first time in Poland. What do you think so far? I've wanted to go to Poland forever now. I think two years ago we said in a video that I was like, what's the next country you want to go to? And it was Poland for me. And it's been a while. We're finally here. So far, I'm pretty pleasantly surprised. I know Katowice, Kat Katowice is kind of known as a boring city. It was very industrial and stuff. Oh, really? But to me, it's very charming. It has some of this older architecture. You can tell it's under construction a lot. Like they're definitely developing the city. But but I mean, after that meal, I'm so pleasantly surprised. That was so good and I can't wait to try more food. Yeah, I think food-wise, definitely um, so far a good experience. You're right, I think it's developing. We also arrived yesterday in the evening and the lighting is super nice in the city and I like that a lot. I think that does a lot when it comes to atmosphere. So I had no idea about Katowice, how it's gonna be. And so far, I like it too. It's a medium-sized city, like population of like 300,000. Uh, it's nice. We have two larger cities to go to after this. We flew in here because there was a good flight deal from Germany. I'm glad that we put this on the list because I think we would have avoided this city if the deal wasn't here. All right, so time to explore some more. At this point, we are pretty full, but Phil was determined to find a dish that he ate during his Rotwaf trip. And I'm looking, or we're looking for a dish that I have eaten before and one time, and that was my absolute favorite in Poland so far. And I really hope we can find it because mm, you're gonna be in for a treat. And making a few pit stops along the way before finally sitting down for our final meal of the day. So we came out and for dinner, 
I'm so excited to finally eat this. We found it and I'm happy. We came right in the heart here of Katowice in the pedestrian zone. And we came to this place called Potio Demka and I finally got this dish here. This is called Plasek po Vigiescu and it is a Hungarian style pancake. It is a big round pancake, potato pancake, and then they put goulash in it and they fold it over. So it's filled with Hungarian style goulash here on the inside. And then there's a little bit of sour cream on top. There's a little bit of bell peppers, corn, and it's overall just one big potato pancake filled with goulash. So I'm just gonna dig in here. Wow, look at that. So here we go. I had this once before and let's see if this one is as good as I remember. Is it good? Dude, it's so nice. The outside here is very crunchy, slightly burnt, like a french fry. And then the center though, very soggy because of all the goulash. It just fits so well together. The beef meat and then this potato pancake. I don't know, just potatoes and beef, you know, in a gravy. Mm. So it is called Hungarian style. So I would assume this originated in Hungary, but I saw it in a lot of places in Poland so far. I had it in Rockla. Here they have it on a lot of menus. I don't know if it's a Silesian thing to have it here or if it's Poland white. I'm not sure about that, but so far it seems like they have it a lot. They probably eat it a lot. And this one is really nice. I would give this like an eight out of 10, but the one I had a couple weeks back was even better. I think they topped it with more sour cream and it was even a little fresher, but this is still so good. It just works well together. And the dish I'm trying now is a Silesian dish and it's the soup. Zupi zur Slaski? I don't know. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's supposed to be a very sour soup with some sausage in there, egg and onions. And it looks very nice. It smells very herbally. It looks so good. So I'm just gonna give this a try. It's not a clear soup. Oh yeah, nice sausage on there. Mmm, so it's in the description as sour, but it's not too sour. It's very salty, very savory flavor. The sausage in there just kind of melts in your mouth. It just falls apart. Seems to be a theme today. The meat is just melting. That sounds very nice. <laughs> it's very good. It, it tastes like a very hearty soup. Like, I don't know, you would want in the winter time, but I feel like I can eat soup any time of the year, so I'm happy. Mm. There's also a piece of potato in there and you have two slices of bread with it. Yes. But more importantly, you should try this. Yeah, I want to try this. Phil came back from Poland raving about this dish and how amazing it was, so... Mmm. Mmm. More than the goulash, I just want to keep eating the potato pancake. That's what is so good to me. Right? Yeah. Also, this soup, very nice. I like yeah. it with the sausage, the egg, the potatoes. It's thick, it's not clear. And I think, I don't know if it's an age thing, but I'm becoming more and more of a soup person. Yeah, this is a nice thick potato pancake. Does my stuff. Mm. Dude, so far every stop in Poland, nothing has disappointed. All right, so that was our first day and the first stop of this series here in Poland. We're gonna continue tomorrow. And if you wanna see more from this beautiful country, especially of the food, then we're gonna be back next week. Oh, I have a list. There's a lot more we need to try. This was so satisfying and a great experience for our first time or my first time in Poland. Yeah, so. and my yeah. first time in Katowice as well. I yeah. like the city, but it's time to venture on. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. All right next spot or only pierogi from here now. I'm so, so happy right now. I don't think you understand. And what about him? I'm hungry too.